Buck Nation. Buck Nation, we fucking did it. Oh my God, my stress levels are through the roof right now. We did the damn thing. I will touch up on my dislikes and my likes. I like the fact we fucking won. <laughs> God damn. Roberto Aguayo, I said it. It's going to come down to the kicking game. I said it, and you see what the fuck I'm talking about. Missed two kicks, made three, and that last one was so crucial and it mattered because he got that motherfucker. Now, I will say this. This was a completely different team in the first half and the second half. The first half, the offense was running that motherfucking ball. I'm surprised. I'm impressed how well we ran the ball the first half. I like the fact we had great possession of the ball to keep it out of Carolina's hands. But these stupid-ass motherfucking penalties are pissing me off. Damar Dotson, why you holding, motherfucker? You got an extension. Get your shit straight. What's this nigga's name? Goster Cherilis. What are you doing? You're a veteran. False start in the red zone, bro. Third and one. Delay a game, Jameis. Get your shit straight, bro. Come on, man. This game shouldn't even have been this close. Five turnovers, people. Five turnovers. The muff punt. The, what was it? Two interceptions? Fucking Grimes, Ayers, and then the fumbles. This game was ours to win. But like I said last year, we don't capitalize on big plays. Four out five turnovers and only fucking off my head six that we got that mattered. But damn it, we won. Um, That's what's important. But <sighs> they shut down the running game the first half. The first half, that defense was stout. That second half... I don't know what we do in halftime, but I swear whatever he's giving these players, whether it's a motivational thing, kill that speech. If it's a fucking drink, get another fucking drink. Because second half, we look like a whole other team, bro. Out in a bad way. We couldn't do shit on offense. Uh, fucking, they were running all up on us. And goddamn, Greg Olson was killing us. But we got better. Jameis had big plays. Capitalized. Tied it up real quick. I'm going to touch up on this too. Dirk Cutter, what are you doing? You're giving me stress. I get enough stress watching the Florida State Seminoles doing their halftime, their second half bullshit comebacks. What the hell was this? You, you gave up on Jameis. Yes, on that second and nine play, he threw in a bad coverage. But why are you running a stupid ass running play on third and nine to put it in the kicker's hands when you know he's not that good? And then you got two minute warning. You were lucky enough to get to get the time to stop because of an injury, injury timeout. Um, Ron Rivera calling timeouts because he has confidence in his defense. You were fortunate for that, but you got closer and you decided to do run plays. Why would you want to put it on Aguayo's shoulders when he's shaky already? I know you want to build his confidence, but if you're trying to stay in this race, there's no time to take chances right now. There's not. You can hear John Gruden saying the same shit. Jameis. You almost fucked up with that fumble, but thank goodness team has a, they have a, the rest of the team has awareness. But no interceptions. That's what matters the most. Mike Evans, good game, but he had a Vincent Jackson side in today. Cameron Brake, good work. Dodson, get your shit straight. Jaquiz Rogers, hey, you need to move this man up the roster. Let's make him our second string running back and have Sims, Sims be the, he is a spell back, but have him just coming out of the flats because we saw a completely different running back with with Jaquiz Rogers coming out there other than Smith. We see more aggression. We see more elusiveness. And he's better back there than Charles Sims. It could just be because of the, the um, God damn it, I'm so fucking full of adrenaline I can't even talk. We did see a difference compared to Charles Sims. And it could be because of Carolina's defense is not as, obviously not as good. But we ran on that motherfucker, boy. So shit. I'm so fucking happy. I'm excited. We're 2-0 in the division now. We're 2-3. and three. We're going to a bye week so we can get our players healed up and come back next week. Who we got next week? We got the 49ers after that. So we can get Dougie back. Hopefully we can get some more players back to go into the, 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 um, the next game. But for now, let's enjoy this. 2-0, 2-3, Nation, Travis signing out. Bucks always and forever, baby. Fire them fucking cannons.